Hi, this is Puneet Gambhir. Uh, I've been into analytics industry for close to 10 years now. In 2011, I moved to Flipkart. Uh, so Flipkart now is uh, one of the leading e-commerce companies in India. I found e-commerce very, very exciting because of the sheer size of the data and uh, the sheer kind of problems that you can solve. I've been leading few teams in uh, Flipkart, uh, trying in, into various domains, you know, uh, classical retail as well as product analytics, uh, some marketing analytics use cases, as well as some supply chain things. At Flipkart, we obviously have a lot of data given the size of the customers and given the size of the Indian market. Now, there are multiple teams which are looking to, you know, unearth the information from this huge piles of data. There are technical teams, data architecture teams, whose job is to essentially make sure that we are storing this data in a form that it can eventually be analyzed. And then there are teams who are essentially looking at that data to draw insights or to develop better products. So these are the analytics and data sciences team. So drawing an insight could be to essentially say that what are customers looking for in their searches and therefore what is it that we need to have in stock all the time. And a product development could be something like understanding how consumers are browsing and behaving on the website and developing a recommendation model based on that. So very, very exciting things which can be done using big data. And I'm thrilled to say that Flipkart is one of the frontiers when it comes to using big data in India. Whenever we are hiring a person into analytics, there are uh, uh, four broad areas that we, that we look for. Technical expertise, which are, uh, you know, command over programming languages like SQL or any other equivalent language. Statistical knowledge, which is essentially not, not just understanding of the tools. Understanding of tools is secondary, but uh, mostly it's about how strong the concepts around statistics is because it's it's a very vast subject. It's very easy to kind of uh, you know get get uh, a bit uh, carried away by what what you say about statistics, but you need to have very very strong fundamentals. So I look look for those fundamentals. The third thing which we look for is uh, a business context because what I believe is that there's a lot of uh, knowledge around statistics and technical uh, programming languages, but uh, what is missing is the ability to link that with the business context. And uh, uh, you, you know by talking to a person that this person not just understands the data, but he also has the capability to kind of relate it to the business problem that he's trying to solve. Uh, that ability to structure data and analysis in context of a business problem is very, very big USP for a candidate, according to me. Visualization and presentation of data, well, that's, that's my favorite subject because very often what I have seen is that analytics teams does a great job of understanding the data and analyzing it and kind of almost reaching the solution. But when it comes to showcasing the work done by them or to explain the insights which they have got, that's where there is a, there is a gap. And uh, visualization and having the right presentation skills is the most important part when it comes to communicating to people who are outside analytics because they would not understand the whole details behind what you have done as let's say a statistical model and it's a skill which is kind of a little understated when it comes to analytics but i think it is it is an extremely precious skill to have for a for an analytics guy if he can go into a meeting with a presentation to business guys and can explain his point with a story there's no better site for me as an analytics manager to see that happening to get into analytics industry, you need to have a very, very strong foundation of multiple things. It's not just a particular skill set. It has to be a combination of things. You need the capability to understand data and the technologies behind it. You need to have a solid foundation into statistics. And you need to have the ability to understand business context and apply it to a problem. Now, to get to a combination like this, you need a very structured way of learning. And Jigsaw Institute, has that right combination. This is because they, apart from just having the technical courses which are required, they also have a very good blend of case studies. And those case studies have been designed by people who have been in the industry and who have solved those problems. So that really adds to you know the real factor behind those case studies. And as a student, as a candidate, it gives you a very real perspective of how to solve a business problem very, very important to go through a structured learning like what Jigsaw Institute offers.